dye my hair day. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been so long since I posted, but you can tell by the title of this video that I'm gonna be dyeing my hair today. Um, <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna go. I might just be going through a bit of a, uh, not even midlife crisis, whatever, life crisis at 18. So I'm gonna be dyeing my hair peach with try and drop it hair dye. It's semi-permanent, so it's not gonna last that long or anything. But, um, yeah, I'm just wearing like an old t-shirt. It's literally just a plain navy blue one, which I've like, worn once. So I'm not bothered about that getting ruined. I don't like to put my phone for this video, so I'm just kind of like <laughs> putting it anywhere. But yeah, this is the one I'm using. It's just Shrine Drop It in Peach. It's the shades on the back. I think I'm going to go for like... 12 drops. I don't know if you can see 12 on there. Um, because I feel like on my hair colour it'll probably be a bit like quite a light peachy colour. It looks more pink on there actually, but I've seen on um Shrine's Instagram and like other people's Instagrams that it's actually like a bit more orange. I mean, I don't know whether the bowl has anything to hint at here, but that's pretty orange. <laughs> but yeah. I'm gonna see how it goes anyway. I might just end up turning more ginger than I already have. Just got some conditioner on me. Um, but yeah, it'll be fun anyway. And I'm really excited, so let's go. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna put my phone here. I'm filming on my phone today just cause my camera, it's good camera, but it's more for like photos rather than video. So I just find that probably my phone is better quality now. Okay, I feel like that's better. So far, I've literally just put my conditioner in this bowl. You get this um, bowl with the kit. Um, and then you just get like a little mixing tool. Conditioner I've used, I've just used my normal one, which we always use. Um, it's just the LV four or five. And then I've mixed about, Probably a third of this bowl is no dropped here. <laughs> Sony and Guy conditioner mask. That is just there. I've mixed that quite well. I don't know whether that really affects anything when it's like mixed or not. But now I'm going to put the drops in, and I'm really excited to do this part because this is a bit where you get to like experiment with how many drops you want. I mean, from the box, I think I'm going to definitely do twelve because I feel like that colour there quite nice. I mean, that says on dark blonde, which I don't think my hair's dark blonde, but it's not bleach blonde either, which it like says there. So I'm just gonna go for about 12 and see what happens. I'll probably have to move my camera in a minute because the lighting's a bit dodgy here, but I've literally got this massive tripod <laughs> and look, it's probably like a meter in diameter. I'm gonna have to like move it maybe. I'll have to take my camera off in a minute and show you guys. Um, what I'm doing. Got my little drop it. Ooh, it's orange. Ah. You know what, I'm gonna move my camera now. Otherwise you won't be able to see the colour popping. Like you're probably watching this video to see what colour it is. <laughs> you can see me. Oh you can. I don't want my phone to fall. Getting them high angles in. Drop my plants over there by the way. These two my, I think that one's dead, it's a cactus, that one's a succulent. These are some shells I got from Woolicum, I think. I'm gonna put this dropper in now. I don't know whether you can see it down here, but it's actually quite dark. But like, you can definitely tell it's got a hint of orange. Well, that was just my light too. Oh, okay, I think I need some more. I'm gonna mix that one, that's literally just like one or two. Ooh, it's orange. <laughs> oh my God. That is actually so orange. I definitely want it to be darker. I literally forgot to put gloves on, then I? Before I go any further, I want gloves on because I want to protect my nails. I've had these done in two weeks today, but they're going strong, you know? 
Like these nails are probably the last and the longest out of the three times I've had my nails done. I especially love this nail. I'll try and get a better video of that in a minute. I'm gonna put that to her more in. So I apologise for this lighting here. It's a bit weird having lighting behind me. Backlighting. <laughs> I could literally put my phone up against there, but I was trying that earlier and it kept falling down, so I think this might be the best bet. I should probably get a smaller tripod really, but it has already gone in it. <laughs> Just got like 10 drops in there now. It looks like a cookie or something, like some kind of weird cookie that's been dyed. Got food colouring in. It actually, no, it actually does look like food colouring. <laughs> it does though, doesn't it? It's like food colouring. Just the heads up, but it does say to leave it on your hair for what, 10 minutes. I think I'm going to leave it on for half an hour just so I know that it's like gone through my hair. You see what I mean? Especially since I've never done my hair before. I'm going to make sure it works. <laughs> the instructions, it did say that if your conditioner has silicon in it, then your hair might not take so well to the dye. Um, like if you use conditioner that has silicon in, which I think mine does, like the I know, I think the L'Oreal one does. Don't know about the Tony and Guy one though, because I didn't Google it when I was looking the other day. <laughs> I don't know whether I should have separated my hair before I mixed all this. What do you reckon? Whether to even bother separating my hair at all? I know. <laughs> I'm a noob at hair dyeing, so... I'm sorry if, like, any experts get offended at this video. <laughs> I realised if you're wondering what that is over there, that's just a shell. We got it from Cornwall like when I was about two or something. <laughs> it's nearly all mixed up now. I remember that I had so much like conditioner around like the outside of the bowl. I don't know if you saw it earlier when I showed you the bowl. That was just because I was wiping my thing, trying to get um condition off my fingers because when I was putting in the Tony and Guy one, because because of that one it's like a tub, isn't it? So you have to just like get it out with your fingers. So it was a bit difficult. That was me trying to be an eco warrior and not wasting anything. <laughs> right, that looks good. I might have to take my glasses off in a minute to do this because I don't want to dye my glasses. Here is what it looks like. There we go, that's in the light in a bit more. Um, doesn't that orange bowl look good with my gloves? <laughs> It's a lot more orange that obviously, it's, it's called peach, but it obviously does look a lot more orange. How it goes, I mean, if I do need to like, if I do want it a bit more pink, then I'll probably just get the pink, either, or, either pink or hot pink, I think, drop it, a couple of drops of that in, like not much, because I do want it more orange based peach colour. Um, I'll just have to get that at a later date. <laughs> okay, so I think this might be the best I'm going to get. I know my hair is very long, <laughs> like it's literally longer than my phone is picking up, so <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm basically going for like an ombre though, like an ombre effect, so I'm going to start it off about here and then try and blend it in a little bit at the top. Probably dying in like these, like just the very ends of these little feathered bits. I'm excited! The glasses are coming off, so I don't know how well I'm going to do this because I can't really see well. I mean, I can see close up, so... I mean, my hair's quite close up, so... Hopefully it'll be okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know what to do. I probably should have searched a tutorial or something for this. YOLO. This is it now. I did have some bubbles over there, I could have literally just tied my hair up in places. Maybe I should do that, you know. <laughs> type the bit I'm doing or not. You know what I'll do? I'll type like the right side of my hair. 
because then it gives me less to focus on. Can you tell I'm literally a noob at this? <laughs> Should be like manageable. I know it's probably a bit more than some of you guys do and dyeing your hair, but I'll probably like split it in two anyway. Like the one bit can stay behind my shoulder for now. And I'll just focus on this bit here. Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> realised the white bath mat is literally underneath us so I'm really hoping I don't get any on that. Oh you can actually see a little bit. I'm just looking on the camera. It actually looks like it's taking to it a little bit. might want to go a little bit higher up depending on how it looks. I'll go and have a look in the proper mirror in a minute, just over there. Ooh, not going to lie, actually it's starting to look a bit like pinky, which is quite cool. At least it's looking less orange than this. <laughs> I mean, I don't like being ginger. I actually like being ginger, which is literally why I've got this colour, because I prefer being ginger than any other colour. I want to make sure all this is like in. I don't know if I've gone a bit too far underneath. At least it's only wash out though. This is random, but I wonder why Gypsy Shrine is now Shrine though. Like they've changed like their branding and everything. Like the logo was nothing like that before. I mean, I'm glad they've kind of kept part of their name. But I just wonder why they did it though, because like it was fine before. I don't even know what time it is, and I've got to leave this on for ten minutes. <laughs> so I've just looked in the mirror. I will definitely be going up a little bit higher here. I know like this like face framing like feathered piece here. I think that's fine. Like I've gone quite high up for that really. That's where I want it to be. Um, I know I've got dye on my skin. Uh, let's just hope I'm not allergic. Because <laughs> I haven't done a patch test. I'm not allergic to anything so far but I've just never done my hair before ever so I don't know what it's like. I think I'm going to continue down like the rest of it, like this bit round here, and then like go up. Oh my god, look at that colour difference. Wow. <laughs> so much hair. So it's easier to use the tool to apply it. Possibly. I just want it to kind of be like evenly covered all round, you know what I mean? So I'm just running my thin fingers through it to try and get it. Even the covered. And get it a bit higher up as well. Sorry, I keep checking to see if I've got any on the bath mat because if I have, then the bath mat's literally white, so it's going to show up in it. If I like this and like the colour and everything, then I might go back and do like a bit of a balayage and maybe get like some few pieces um, at the front. Like where I've got like natural highlights, you can't really see in this light. I basically got like a natural highlight here and then one here as well. Like that's what I have cut shorter um, when I go to the hairdressers. Um, but I might have those cut, I mean not cut, I might dye those bits like later on if this looks good. And maybe add a few round the side as well, I've got highlights there. I say highlights, but they're kind of just like natural highlights, just like random streaks. That's okay. I'm trying to see where that's blended. I don't know if I've got enough dye on or not. I'm hoping it's kind of like taken to that. I'm hoping. <laughs> I will get rid, I will take this side down now and start doing this side. I should dye one of my bubbles this colour so when I tie my hair up it looks like natural so that my bubble like can't be seen. I might do that, you know. I'm gonna kind of like tie this bit up now. So it's out of my way and I can work on just the front bit. I'll probably even split this in two because I feel like the smaller the section, the easier it is to make sure it's all like coated. Do you know what I mean? This is actually the first time I've ever done my hair. I did use some like hair colour creams like a few years ago, I think it was like when I was 15, like it was, I think it was in the May as well actually, because it was when we went to, where did we go, I think it was like Chester, we went like a night away somewhere, and I'd still got some of that in my hair at the bottom, but I only did like three inches, 
or four inches at the very bottom of my hair. Obviously my hair was a bit shorter though then, so it was probably like here-ish maybe. The dyed bit. This is actually looking so pretty so far. Look, like, look at that. It's not that much different to my natural hair colour, but it's just kind of like that. It just looks like a pinkish tint at the minute, which I think it'll look really nice once it's dried and everything. I forgot to mention that on the instructions to this dye, it did say to wash your hair before, so I've just literally washed it with shampoo because that's what it said. Leave it to dry, or you could towel dry it. Um, so that's why it was completely dry and everything when I did it, when I've started just. And once I rinse it off, I just rinse it off with water. I don't know if it's going to be hot or cold or... I don't know if there's any preference for that. But I'll probably just do warm. Because <laughs> I like steaming showers. <laughs> to be fair, I'll probably just use the sink though, not gonna lie. Because why would I get all wet when I've already washed my hair and stuff? Right, I'm just gonna have a look in the mirror again. Make sure that's done. Let's just get that bit done. Well, it's sort of done, it's just not that well. I actually barely feel like I've used any of my dye, you know, at the minute. So I might have to go around and put more on because I feel like if it has less on, then like it's not gonna dye as well. So I think it was either last year or the year before, whenever they released this dye, I really wanted to do it and I just thought it was so cool how you can get like nearly 30, well you can get 30 full heads of hair dyed. It was so cool and especially since I did a peach as well because like I put peach in my hair before and it looked really good so I thought maybe I should do it again and just do it a bit higher up you know. And with summer coming up this year with me basically having nothing to do all summer. Yes. I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna dye my hair. And if it looks terrible, then nobody's gonna see me, so. Do you guys think I should change my bitmoji now on Snapchat to like, um, an ombre peach hairstyle? Do you think I should? I always think those are so cool when people have like ombre hair on Snapchat. I like how Snapchat added in that feature. I've still literally got a really old hairstyle, which you can't... I don't think you can have ombre on the hairstyle I've got on Snapchat, so I have to change it, which is sad, because it's, like, really rare now, because it's not in the... Um, is it called a closet or something? I don't know, basically where you make up your bitmoji, it's not there anymore, so... Just managed to get hair dye in the sink. <laughs> I think I wiped it off, though, with my gloves, but... Oh well, I'm sure it'll come off the sink anyway. Like, I'm sure it won't stay in the sink. Oh my God, just me. Oh, is this looking more pink now on my skin? Like, it doesn't hurt or anything, don't worry. I'm not allergic. But like, even on here now, it's looking more pink, which I'm happy about. Right, so I just did that back section there. I don't know how well it's gonna take because you can see that my hair's quite dark under there, like naturally anyway. Oh, okay, I think I might have done it all. I've got dye on my face now as well. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> All the sun's coming out now. It's actually been raining for like the past three weeks. Like since it's been May, it's literally rained every single day. And all day as well on most of the days. Like it's actually raining all day and night. Like it's actually been so terrible. Like considering I was going for this like peachy, summery look. The weather's not doing much, like summery stuff. Fingers crossed we get a hate wave in June, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> so it feels really dry. I've obviously been talking so much on this video. <laughs> right, I think that is it all now. So I'm going to be back in 10 minutes, um, maybe a bit longer actually, because uh, I'm going to leave it on longer. <laughs> Let's be a rebel. And then I will wash my hair. See you in a bit then. Okay, so I'm back. I think it has only been 10 minutes. And it's only say 10 minutes on the leaf to wait. Do you like my pineapple glass? I'm trying to be summery. Cheers, guys. 
Right, I'm gonna wash my hair out now. So, see ya. I'm gonna put you down there, I think. My phone's waterproof, so it should be okay. Oh my God, it's worked. <coughs> like literally no colors coming out of it. So that must mean that it's gone in. Just wiping that bit of the thing that I got in there, yeah. Ah! Oh my god, it's, it looks kind of like, it looks like a coppery colour really. It's actually turned out darker than I thought. Maybe it was that like massive drop that I put in the condition at the start. Maybe that was like quite a drop. Oh well, I guess it will fade though, I know. Look how ganga this looks. <laughs> it literally looks copper. This is what my hair looks like in the sink. It's, it kind of looks a bit rose goldy. So yeah, I'm happy with it so far. So I'm gonna dry this and then I will see you soon and show you the end results. So far it looks so good though. Okay, so my hair's just drying now. I mean, you might be able to see it. I'm still waiting for it to dry. I'm just filming this right now. It's like that, it's kind of, I don't know, it's a bit different. It's kind of like my natural color. Okay guys, so here's my hair. Just thought I'd show you guys in natural lighting outside. I can kind of tell that it's been dyed a little bit. Like if you compare the top bit to the bottom bit, you can kind of see it a little bit. It's not that like vibrant. So if I was to do it again, I'd probably either leave it on longer, although I had took my time applying it all, or I would, I don't know, maybe suggest me some ideas on what I could have done. I'll definitely be trying it again though, to get a more vibrant colour. I mean, it might not show up on that much on my hair anyway, because it's ginger anyway, <laughs> and peach isn't that different, but yeah. It's probably better if I show you like that. I don't know, it kind of does look a bit different there. Oh, there's a cute bag. I'm gonna go and have a look in a minute. I just realised I forgot to do an outro, so thank you so much for watching this. I hope you found this funny or something. See you next time. Thank you for watching.